to this video explaining how to get started with the High Power Stepper Motor Driver STM32 Nucleo Expansion Board. This board is part of the STM32 Open Development Environment, a fast and affordable way to develop innovative devices and applications with ST components. Information on how to obtain the board can be found on www.st.com slash xnucleo under the reference xnucleo IHM03A1. The board is built around the PowerStep 01 system in package, integrating micro-stepping controller and 10 amperes power MOSFETs, a power supply and motor bridges connector, a power OK and fault LED to check the alarms reported by the power step 01, an SPI connector and resistors set to configure each board for daisy chaining. The board is equipped with an Arduino Uno R3 connector, allowing it to be plugged into an STM32 Nucleo development board. First, connect a bipolar stepper motor to the expansion board taking care to match each phase to the respective power bridge. Then, connect the voltage power supply. The default resistor setup, as shown here, is for a single motor configuration. Next, connect the STM32 Nucleo development board to a PC using a mini USB cable. The board is automatically detected and seen as a disk drive. Visit st.com and search for the keyword XNucleo IHM03A1. Click on the main part number link. Then go to the Tools and Software section and click on the Xcube link. Finally, go to the end of the page and click on the Download button in the Get Software section. In the Software package, you will find directories with all the required material. Now, let's try a sample application that allows you to drive a stepper motor connected to a motor driver expansion board. The firmware to be installed is called IHM03A1 Example for One Motor and can be found in the Examples folder of the Projects directory, as shown here. Select the STM32 Nucleo development board you are using and drag and drop the binary file onto the Nucleo disk drive. You can adjust parameters to match your motor's characteristics in the PowerStep01 target config.h file. Then, recompile your project and upload the binary file, as shown before. Once the firmware is downloaded, just press the reset button of the Nucleo board and the stepper motor will automatically start to move. It will execute the demo sequence, which is coded in the main.c file of the project. This sequence includes commands such as moves of a given number of steps in forward or backward direction, go to specific position, and many others. The package also includes a sample application which provides an example of daisy chaining. It is called IHM03A1 Example for Three Motors and can be downloaded in the same way as previously described. It should be used in a configuration where three X-Nucleo IHM03A1 expansion boards are stacked. Please refer to the user manual to correctly configure the resistor set of each board. A comprehensive set of documentation for the high power stepper motor driver board, including a user manual, application notes, quick start guide, and data sheet is also available. Visit www.st.com slash stm32ode.